In this tutorial of the employee kiosk, we will demonstrate how to create a new leave request. To create a new leave request, select the leave request option from the left side menu and then select create new request. On the leave form, you will need to select the job for which you are requesting leave and you will need to select the leave type that you are requesting. If you select vacation, sick, or personal leave, the balance as it exists in the payroll system will display to you on the leave form. This balance does not include any request that is currently in progress in the kiosk. To view your requests that are in progress in the kiosk, you will need to select the See Your Vacation Leave Request button. This screen shows me that I have four days of vacation leave that are currently in progress in the kiosk. To get my true balance, I will need to subtract those four days from my balance of 21 to get 17 as my true balance. Some leave types will require you to enter a reason, others will not require the reason. You will need to enter a starting and ending date for your leave request. You can click the calendar icon and select a date from a calendar view, or optionally you may type the date in manually. You'll need to enter the starting and ending time for your leave request. In the leave requested in days field, enter the amount of leave that you'll be taking in days. If you are an hourly district, this prompt will say leave requested in hours and you would enter an hourly amount. The full notification checkbox determines how many emails you will receive as your leave request is being processed. If you leave the full notification checkbox unchecked, you will receive an email when you submit the leave request and when it has met final approval. If you check the full notification box, you will receive an email when you submit the leave request and each time that a supervisor approves your request. If your district uses the substitute needed feature of the kiosk and you require a sub to cover for you while you are out, you will have the option to enter the information about a sub that you would like to have called to cover your absence. To enter the substitute information, you will need to check the substitute needed checkbox and then you may type in information about the sub that you would like called to cover your absence. You may attach a file to your leave request by selecting the Select Files to Attach button on the leave request form. Once you have the leave request form completely filled out, click the Submit button to submit it to your supervisor. At this time, you will receive an email verifying that you have submitted a leave request and your immediate supervisor will receive an email notifying them that you have submitted a leave request. This concludes the tutorial on submitting a leave request in the kiosk.